all right welcome back guys so in this um in this video i want to troubleshoot an issue that may be associated with your google admobs display so there's been cases where admob display on the android emulator but when you install your app on an actual device um, it does not display so basically the app i created that i want to upload to the play store the admob displays fine on the android emulator but when i run that app on my device admob does not display so let me just open the app now on my device so it's actually a bible verse app and okay so this is the app and uh admob is supposed to display on the app so if i click on let's say one of the tabs here you see that it says show interstitial not read not read yet okay so basically admob does not display on this app when i install it on the device this is a device an actual android device that i'm projecting onto the screen okay all right so how do we go about solving this problem now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go back and close this app and there is this um app called apk editor okay so apk editor and in the troubleshoot section which is section 12 i've left a link for you to download version 1.12.0 for the apk editor now i'm going to say at this point that after you've done what i'm about to show you make sure you uninstall the apk editor because there's been reports that um it can actually try to you know do some unauthorized actions on your phone okay so immediately you finish using the apk editor to solve your android uh add more problem on install it that's what i do okay all right so i'm going to open the apk editor right now all right so this is what the apk editor looks like the first thing i'll do is i'll go to settings and i'll just scroll down um i'm scrolling down to this option here sign apk with okay it's the second option after this apk building section so i'll say sign apk with and i'll say key created by apk editor So just um, sign APK, we just select key created by APK editor. So let me just confirm. Okay, so that's what is selected. And you can go back. Okay, so I'll just go back on my device. And then I'll, I'll, I'll select, um, I'll click on select APK from app. Okay, that's, I want to select an APK from an app that's already installed on the phone. So it will load and get all the apps installed on the phone. So this is the app I'm particularly interested in, Bible Versus app. I'm going to select it, okay? And I'm going to select Full Edit, okay? So I'll just click on Full Edit and I'll say All Files. And then I'll give it a moment. Now, it's going to bring up this um, area here. Basically, what I want to do in this area is I'm just going to select the I'll, I'll click on this drop down and I'll look for English. So I'll just scroll up and look for English, which is my language anyway. Okay, so if you I'll just say okay, so this is English here, and I will then click on build. So what, what will happen is that it's going to like repackage our app and remove any bug that is preventing um, the google ads from displaying okay and then we will then have google ads displaying so that's basically what is going to happen when that's when this process is complete all right so the process is complete okay so but before i um install this newly signed apk 
what I'm going to do is I'll go and uninstall the previous one from my device. So let me just quickly do that and I'll just select the app and I will uninstall it. So okay, I want to uninstall. All right. So I'm going to open APK editor one more time and then from the APK editor I'm simply just going to install the app. By the way, the app is located in the APK editor in our file manager. Okay? So but I'll just go ahead and install it. And I'll click on install. And of course, because I've not signed it, I may get a warning from my device. Because I've not um, uploaded it to the Play Store, rather. I may get a warning on my device. So let's just install it first. Okay, so it has installed. Um, so I'll go ahead and click on Open. All right, so it has opened. Voila. And as you can see, my um, app that was not displaying Google Ads a few minutes before has started displaying the ads, okay? So when you do this and you make sure you do not click on your ads by yourself, okay? That's a violation of Google policy, okay? Um, so... This is the APK file that I'm going to upload to the Play Store, okay? So I'm just going to close this right now so that I don't mistakenly click on anything. All right. So I'll go ahead and close this. And immediately, because I'm done with this guy here, so immediately I'm done with this APK editor, I'm going to uninstall it, okay? And I'll just go and uninstall it. So it's not something you should just keep on your phone. Have the setup in your downloads, but don't leave it installed on your phone. Okay, that's because there's, there, there's been reports that some um, versions of the APK editor are viral, virus infected. Okay, all right. So, in the next lecture, since we have our APK file, we're going to see how we can upload it to the Play Store. All right, see you in the next one.